hello all welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be explaining you about uh, hydrostatic law so we will see what is the statement for hydrostatic law and also we will derive hydrostatic law in this uh, session okay so coming to the first uh, definition of uh, hydrostatic law or the statement of hydrostatic law it states that uh, the rate of increase of pressure in a vertically downward direction should be equal to the specific weight of fluid at that particular point in say suppose uh, you have any uh, free liquid surface and uh, this is uh, say suppose this is a free liquid surface and as you are moving downwards means when you are vertically moving in the downward direction means along the depth if you are going downwards if at a particular point you want to calculate the pressure of fluid at that particular point so it's very difficult for us to calculate the pressure at that point because we are somewhere deeper inside the free surface so hydrostatic law states that this pressure in a vertically downward direction as we are moving downward obviously the pressure will increase so this rate of increase of pressure in this vertically downward direction or in a depth way this pressure can be calculated by just knowing the specific weight of that particular fluid so if you can know the specific weight of that fluid then you can calculate the pressure at this particular point this is what our hydrostatic law states that so the same uh, mathematical expression is written here you can see so dp by dh which stands for rate of increase of pressure in the vertically downward direction means i'm considering the depth to be represented by h so rate of increase of pressure in a depth direction means in a vertically downward direction is dp by dh and this is equal to what specific weight of the fluid at that particular point so specific weight is generally denoted by small w or else you can also write dp by dh is equal to rho into g this is what is we will be proving right now okay so for proving this hydrostatic law what i'll do is i'll consider a fluid element so out of the entire liquid surface which i have shown you in that i am going to pick out one fluid element and i assume the fluid element to be of some arbitrary shape so here i am taking that arbitrary shape to be a cube shape so i'm assuming the fluid element to be in the shape of a cube okay so now i will try to write what are the forces acting on this fluid element and then i will i try to apply the equilibrium of forces and i'll try to get out my hydrostatic law okay so let's see that so for this you can see right on the screen uh, there is a fluid element uh, which is in the form of a cube and uh, the height of the fluid element or the depth of the fluid element is dh and the area of the fluid element is da okay so you can see uh, p is the pressure acting on the upper surface of the fluid element there is some pressure p which is acting on the upper surface and p plus dp is the pressure acting on the lower surface of the fluid element what is this p plus dp already a pressure of p is acting on the top surface so and we told as we are moving downwards the pressure is increasing so we don't know mathematically how much the pressure is increasing so let that increase of pressure be some dp okay so already there is pressure p acting with increase in pressure dp so therefore the total pressure acting on the lower surface would be p plus dp okay and you can see uh, the direction is in the opposite direction to the upper pressure force because for equilibrium condition that i'll tell you when i'm talking about equilibrium so p plus dp is the pressure force or no it's the pressure acting on the lower surface of the fluid element and as i told earlier da is the area of the fluid element and dh is the height of the fluid element or the depth of the fluid element so now what what shall we do is let's uh, calculate the rate of increase of pressure which is our hydrostatic law so for this what i'll do is uh, i'm gonna write what are the forces acting on the fluid element so for first let's see what are the forces acting on the fluid element then we will apply the equilibrium concept so you can see here just now i told you in the earlier slide p is the pressure acting on the upper surface of the fluid element p is the pressure acting so what would be the pressure force acting on the upper surface there is a difference between pressure and pressure force so pressure force acting on upper surface is equal to see pressure acting means you wrote p but i am i am talking here about pressure force so that would be equal to 
P into D. You may ask how this came. We have a formula. Pressure is equal to force by area. Pressure acting on any surface is equal to force acting by area. So here the pressure acting on the fluid element on the top surface of the fluid element is P of course. Which is equal to F by what is the area of the fluid element? DA. So from here what is force equal to? P into DA. That's what I have written here. So force acting on the pressure force acting on the upper surface of the fluid element is pressure into area of the fluid element which is P into DA. Similarly what is the pressure force acting on the lower surface of the fluid element pressure force acting on lower surface is equal to what is the pressure acting on the lower surface P plus DP so P plus DP into area of the fluid element so it is P plus DP into DA same concept same formula from here next you can observe I have weight of the fluid element which is acting vertically downwards always weight acts vertically downwards this we all know so weight is also force right so weight is the third force which we consider so weight of the fluid element so what is weight of fluid element how do we calculate the weight of the fluid element so weight of the fluid element capital W is equals to generally uh, we have formula for weight as mass into gravity that is one of the formulas we have or else we have another uh, formula for weight which can be derived from weight density formula we have weight density or specific weight of a fluid is equal to weight by volume of the fluid and this is what where I have to end up with specific weight so I'm considering this formula so from here what would be weight written as weight can be written as specific weight into volume so there's a difference between capital W and small w capital W stands for weight small w stands for specific weight so which is weight into volume so this is equal to specific weight specific weight into volume of the fluid okay into volume of fluid element all right now this is what you understood so i'll put a line here right so which is equal to what is specific weight rho into g this we already learned in fluid properties into i will write the volume of the fluid element as area into height of the fluid element because i know the height so i can write volume as area into any one of the dimension so I have area of the fluid element as da and volume uh, height of the fluid element as da so i can write this so now i am ready with pressure force acting on the upper surface pressure force acting on the lower surface and i'm ready with weight so now i have calculated all the three forces acting on the fluid element there is no other force only three forces are there i have calculated the values so now what i'll do i'll apply the equilibrium concept so now equilibrium concept means what summation of all forces equal to zero so all the upward forces will be uh, taken uh, negative and downward forces will be taken positive means all the forces acting towards gravity will be taken as positive and the one which is acting against them is taken as negative so you can see here uh, p into da the pressure force on the upper surface and weight are acting in the downward direction and p plus dp into da which is the pressure force acting on the lower surface is acting the reverse direction so enough so i can write here as p into da plus w minus p plus dp into da equal to zero i'm applying the equilibrium concept okay so i will substitute the value of w here so p into da plus what is w rho g da dh minus i will multiply p plus dp into da as p into da minus dp into da equal to zero so p into da p into da are get cancelling so they get cancelled out so what i am left with rho g da dh is equal to dp da if i send this dp da that side so again here da and da are getting cancelled so i am left with rho g dh is equal to what rho g dh is equal to what dp so from here what is dp by dh is equal to rho g so this is what is our equation right so which implies dp by dh is equals to small w specific weight so this is our hydrostatic law so very easy to derive
just we are writing the forces acting on the fluid element and we are applying the equilibrium concept got it so this dp by dh is equal to rho g is for a fluid element so if i want to calculate on a whole then if i integrate this i would result in uh, p by h is equal to rho g so from here i can write p as rho g h so this is one of the formula for calculating the pressure acting on a fluid and for manometers also we calculate uh, pressure using the same formula p equal to rho g h okay and from here you can write h as p by rho g so from uh, this point you can write h is equals to p by rho g this is called as pressure head what we see in Bernoulli's equation got it guys so this is how we derive hydrostatic law so this is quite easy and simple to derive so I hope you understood the video if you want the notes please click on the description of this video you'll have a link go click and download the notes thanks for watching